Hello guys, in this video again new solution. We have challenge in this case, we have challenge how to make a perfect connection between new ceiling and old beams. Old beams we are going to keep visible and we must make a perfect connection between new ceiling and old beams. Old beams are crooked, they are not straight. That's why we have been improved one, two, three tools. And how we have been done it, you are going to see it right now. Okay guys, because all these old beams are crooked, very crooked, so that means to put plasterboard this way, it does not work. We decide as we must cut out such like this, where we can place plasterboard inside beams. And uh, as you see here, it's the double layer of plasterboard or final probably gonna be OSB. We are still not decide what's gonna be final final look. But the biggest challenge was the how to cut out from the old beams these lines and how to get it perfect as as you see. It's on a millimeter connection. So we have been tried different ways. On the beginning unsuccessfully. Finally we find now unsuccessfully solutions. First unsuccessful try was to use a rotor and using laser. I have been made special guide. So screw this guy to the old beams and uh, using rotor cut out the lines. It takes too long time and uh, no. Next try using same principle. What what is a special saw with a guide? I have been made my own guide from OSB where the saw supports to the edge and the cuts on the top. So again same principle using laser I have been level this on a beam with screws fix afterwards we saw cut and again it takes too much time so finally and finally from such small cheap saw I have been made such like this where distance when you place it on a working table between saw blade and surface is exactly 12 millimeters. That's the thickness of the plasterboard. Next. 
Okay, so this construction, as you see, they are in level because floor construction are in level, ceiling construction are in level. So I make a first cut when I support to this construction. Yes, deep, how deep it must be cut. You can easily adjust yourself. I cut it approximately two and a half, three centimeters in deep. So I cut all around as much as I can to that end, back and in this corner. I cannot cut in the corners. How I fix, you're gonna see it right now. Next step, what I'm gonna do is I put sound isolation. Just like sound isolation and keep empty space over isolation, it's gonna helps reduce sound how it's be all pancake i'm gonna paint you after five minutes and the next so the next i put first layer of plasterboard and it's not a precise i specially keep place between beams and plasterboard and specially keep open place between plasterboards and as you see there's a first cut it lines and after plasterboard are on a place using same so I support the plasterboard fresh to plasterboard and make a next cut And uh, then we have been improved one more tool, such like this, Robert. What is the name of it? You have to say. <laughs> Spiku Drager. <laughs> from, from this it. to this. Okay. Then it's work. So, and, uh, and this way you can go all around, including corners, and uh, comes closer, show closer. And the next after we have been cut 
the line all around. I am using foam fill up all gaps between all beams and the first layer of plasterboard. So after cutting off all foam here around, so we have been close area as no dust, no smaller part part from isolation comes in a room. And on this first layer of plasterboard, we are going to put next layer, maybe plasterboard, maybe OSB painted plates. Better sound isolation. And now you're gonna see all the pancake, how it's be in this construction between first floor and between second floor. Okay, so this is first floor, this is second floor <coughs> and all the pancake I'm gonna count from the top. Here is a parquet layer on the top of the concrete. The next under parquet comes concrete with iron net and with warm cables inside concrete layer. Under a concrete layer we put a plastic to protect as no moisture comes during working process on a constructions. But under plastic we are going to put special sound isolation. So this all concrete pancake lay inside like like a bathtub something like this what is the sound isolation under sound isolation we see this uh, floor plates under floor plates we have level up construction so under that construction actually i can show you right now and this is the first layer of the construction what's laid on the old beams this is a reinforced construction so we screws from all the sides of beams and in the middle of beams then comes as you see sound isolation one layer in the lowest part and then comes plasterboard foam around and second layer with plasterboard or OSB ready construction yes between first and second floor our goal is to make a maximum best sound isolation and you know different density thickness or uh, how it's called uh, compact uh, different material that is the best solution, including air. In this case, we have best solution where the top layer, under top layer, is uh, like plastic, what's not allowed to make it vibration on the concrete layer, what's not connected with the subfloor. And uh, that's why, that's why we are keeping empty space between up floor and isolation and then it's two different material under so different type of density materials you can reach best result in a sound isolation and of course we must reach ceiling easy reach ceiling and ready product what I have been bought it's just 40 centimeter high it's just so small and in a shop we didn't find some better solution that's why i have been decided to make such like such like large working table where i easy can reach ceiling maybe somebody can use this idea of course that's a lot of ways how to make such like such like this working table you can make it from many parts OSB, OSB is very light.
as you see in second floor one more room we have been dismounted floor is ready and second room in the second floor all oh, nice beams using such like metal This way we give a new life to these wooden beams. One room is ready, almost ready, not including ceiling. And uh, okay guys, so we see you in the next video. Robert. Bye bye. Bye bye.